what's up java developers so today i have something exciting i've been working on a new neovim plugin called nvim java and it basically set up everything pretty much everything you need to do uh, java development inside neovim so this is the project and i will put the link in the video description below i have a demo as well this basically showcases pretty much everything we can do with this plugin All right down here you will find instructions to install and today what we're going to do is we are going to install lesvim and we're going to install nvim java uh, with lesvim and you will see how easy that, that is to do All right, right now i don't have any um neovim configurations actually yeah i don't have any neovim configurations if i launch neovim it's just basic uh, neovim let's install lazyvim first this is the official website make sure you have these requirements met once, uh, once you have them installed you can go to installation and clone the project like so after that you can go to dot config and vim when you first launch neovim it will take some time to install lazy nvim that's the package manager after that it will install a bunch of neovim plugins um like so All right now i'm going to close neovim and relaunch it will install three city parsers these are basically like uh syntax tree parsers um meanwhile that's going i can do lazy uh extra around this command lazy across here i'm going to pick dap core that's that's the um debugger client so i can hit x to enable that i can close everything and relaunch and uh, lazy and Vim will automatically install all the plugins required for that particular feature we just enabled once that is done i'm going to close the window all right i'm going to hit space e to bring the file review here let's go to plugins here let's create a spec for uh, nvim java I'm gonna create a directory called Java and in it um dot lua file. Here let's define the spec. I'm just going to go to the readme, open this link up. Let's copy the spec and paste it here, like so. Uh save and close uh, relaunch NeoBeam. You can see we have a um, bunch of plugins we need to install. And after that it will uh, start installing some mason um, mason packages it's actually in the background so i'm gonna close lazy uh, vim window and mason and vim right now refreshing the registries after it's done it will start installing a bunch of stuff right now as you can see it is installing java test as well as java debug addition to that um, is, uh, it will install jdt ls um, and open jdk 17 um, i pre-installed these two packages because they're taking some time to install but they will be automatically installed once that's done you can close everything and relaunch neovim now we are ready to develop um, using neovim all right let's find a java file oops that's not the project we want so let's go to the project and as you can see here we have a java project java gradle project um i'm gonna open up the main class on the right hand side you can see um the jdt ls is, is starting and the dep is configured dep is java debugger stuff uh we have auto completion obviously um like so and we have uh, diagnostics as well code formatting should work automatically um when i hit save control s it should automatically format the code as well i can put a debug point here space db and i can start debugging space dc you can see we have stopped at the debug point i can um uh, step over space d capital low i can hit space dc to continue and debugging uh session debug session will stop 
now let's go to test we have two tests the first one is going to pass uh, so let's put the debug point here uh, this one is going to fail um, we can call this fail I guess fading all right and there is a all right spelling mistake okay now um i'm gonna run java test debug current class and it has stopped i can continue space dc once again i'm going to continue space dc and let's bring the test report um java test view last report as you can see we have a one failed test and one passed test if the test is failed then it's going to um uh show the stack trace like so and we have the message we just added and we have like um what is expected and what's uh what was the actual value so this is basically like um vim um vim fold so you can use default key maps for vim fold to expand and collapse uh the the uh, stack trace so yeah that's pretty easy to set up um if you like the plugin uh you can hit star here um if you have an issue you can go to issues and create a new issue um maybe a feature you can add them here as well if you have something to discuss then go to discussions and uh, create a discussion there all right so that's pretty much it thanks for watching have a nice day